no, that's not quite right. Uh, here's what happened. In 2013, Yutang Zhang shocked the world by proving that there are infinitely many primes that differ by at most 70 million. And then a collaboration of mathematicians called the Polymath Project used Jitang Jiang's um, methods to lower that to something like 4600, that there are infinitely many primes that differ by 4600 at most. And then later that year, James Maynard, not turns out, but James Maynard showed that you can use some other type of sieve to lower that bound to 600. So there are infinitely many pairs of primes that differ by at most 600. And then the polymath project came back again and using Maynard's results, we're able to lower that bound to 246. So the best we can do unconditionally, not assuming any other conjecture, is that there are infinitely many primes that differ by at most 246. Now, if you're willing to assume conjectures, there's a conjecture called the Elliot Halberstam conjecture that in 2007, uh, back in 2007, Goldston, Pines, and Yildirim had shown that using that conjecture, you can show that there are infinitely, infinitely many prime pairs that differ by at most 16. And then Maynard in 2013, using his ideas, showed that using the Elliot Halberstam conjecture, actually you can produce prime pairs that differ by at most 12. And then the polymath project came back and showed that using a generalized form of the Elliot Halberstam conjecture, you can prove that there are infinitely many prime pairs that differ by at most six. So they are twin primes differ by four or they are sexy primes. Sexy primes being primes that differ by six. Oh, by the way, James Maynard got the Fields Medal for this work.